How much faster could you create content if your ChatGPT talked to your Canva? Now, I'm not talking about ChatGPT designing in Canva. I touched on that tutorial last week, so you can take a look at that now. But I'm talking about something that I actually personally find more helpful, and that's my ChatGPT being able to read what I've got in Canva. So you think maybe you've made a presentation in Canva, maybe you put together some data in Canva, maybe you've put together a social media post, and you would like your ChatGPT to then make something with that. So say, for example, you might want it to make a caption for a social media post you've designed, or you might want it to make an overview of a presentation you've designed. Anything at all is possible when these two programs can chat together. And thankfully that can happen. And I'm going to show you exactly how to utilize it in today's tutorial. So hello, if we have not met before, welcome to my channel. I am focused on making sure that business owners like you can use design strategically, Canva strategically to create businesses that work, businesses that we are proud of, businesses that scale and sell and businesses that we actually enjoy. And so if that's something that you would find helpful ongoing in your business, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm coming out with tutorials every single week and a podcast episode every single week to help you as a business owner, as an everyday person, learn how to do this stuff for yourself. And so this integration with ChatGPT is something I've been using for a little while now and I'm finding it really really useful. Now I don't think this is available in all countries. I think maybe in Europe and the UK this is not quite accessible to you so if this isn't accessible and you want it to be maybe try using a VPN otherwise you might have to find a different workaround. Another workaround could be downloading a particular design from Canva maybe as a PDF and loading that into ChatGPT and utilizing it from there but if you don't need to do that then this step is even quicker for you. So first I want you to open up your ChatGPT. Start a new chat with it if that's what you need to do or you you can continue in a previous one if you're already kind of following on from a previous discussion that you've been that you've already started uh, and I'm going to press this plus button and I need to make sure that Canva is connected that it can read my Canva so if you haven't done that yet I want you to go to add sources then press the little drop down and arrow for add then go to connect more then you want to press Canva under the browse app section and then you press connect this is then going to take you into this little module that lets you know what Canva is going to be able to do. So make sure that you are okay with all of these different settings. Then press continue to Canva. It's gonna then prompt you to select which team you want to be a part of and let you know all the things it's gonna be able to do. Then you would press allow and it is all done. It's then gonna redirect you back to ChatGPT and it says Canva is now connected. So you're all good to go. You can now exit out of this and you can begin to start your chat. So I'm gonna to go to the plus button and make sure I hover over more and just select Canva to make sure it is switched on. When it's switched on, it's gonna be that little button down the bottom here. That's just helpful to have there. Next up, I wanna let ChatGPT know what I want it to do. So I'm gonna show you three examples of things you might wanna do with it today. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to make it read something like a masterclass and do a summary of it. So for me, this is a masterclass I present. Uh, it's called Design Tools to Get to 100K. And I've got a whole lot of slides here that have some really great information on it, but I can't be bothered summarizing that for maybe some ads or maybe for a social media post or maybe like a summary sheet to give clients and all students after they watch this. So I've just typed in the prompt now of look at my Canva design, Design Tools 100K Masterclass with the name of my design. So to get the name of my design, all I've done is gone into the, the, the actual design, clicked on the title up here, right clicked and copied or you can type it out too and popped it in quotation marks here you don't have to do quotation marks I just want to make sure I'm giving ChatGPT as much info as possible and write an Instagram caption to promote it I'm then going to press the arrow here to select to go and see if it can create something for me so it's gone through my camera and it's found some designs so this first one here is the one that I want it to look at and if I just keep on scrolling out of it it's then going to say connected to app here is a strong Instagram caption and so it'll do some more information for me here which is this is a really great summary of the masterclass create high converting graphics in less time minus so overwhelm you don't need to be a designer blah, blah 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 three points great stuff good times okay so obviously ChatGPT knows me and my business quite well which is why it's done a really great caption with quite a minimal prompt so if you don't use ChatGPT as much as me feel free to give this some more context like my business is for x kind of person or I want the caption not to be short or I want the CTA to be x y or z like just giving it some more context can only be useful or at this stage you could then refine it saying make the voice more playful or add the CTA of this. But knowing that it can just go into my Canva, read what I need it to read and create a summary for me just speeds up my process so, so much. So let's now look at another example. So say for example, I've got a social media post here. Um, let's go for, uh, this is a social media post we're doing to promote my, my White Deer Studio. And so this has got um, some podcast graphics and some graphics we've designed for a client. Uh, and you can kind of see all the different graphics here. This doesn't have a ton of text on it, but I do still want to create a caption for this. So you can 
you can see that the headings, this has got a bit of context for chat to read. I've got a bit of a CTA here um, and some context of what is included in this pack. And so I want ChatGPT to look at these pages and create a caption for me. So I'm going to, again, grab the name of this. I'm going to start a new chat so it doesn't get confused. Look at my Canva design, paste that name and make a IG caption. Now, what I want to do is make sure that I'm referring to the right pages. So on this design, I actually only want it to look at pages 64 to 71. So I'm going to mention that here. Refer to pages 64 to 71. And I'm going to make sure to connect Canva to this. So press the plus, hover over more and press Canva and then press go. All right, so it has now found my, 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 my post here. So I'm gonna scroll down and see what it is, is creating for me. Here's an Instagram caption. Let's see if it's actually picked up the right pages. Custom social media templates, that's exactly it. Cool, that's pretty good. Okay, amazing. And so it's grabbed that from there. Now I wanna let you know that while I've been recording this, this has actually glitched a little bit and doesn't always work. If you find that like, I'll show you for an example. Last time I used this exact same prompt, it said, I don't have access to your Canva designs directly. Can you please connect a Canva account or do this or do this? I'm not sure why it's doing this, but I wanted to show you that sometimes it does have a bit of trouble. And all I literally did was start a new chat and paste it in again, or I could have pasted the exact same prompt in again, maybe changed a word or two, just to kind of jolt it a little bit and see if it works. But just if you ever get something saying, I don't have access, just try again. Um, if you're saying things like, look at my Canva design, giving it the name and making sure that Canva is currently selected as a source, you're not doing anything wrong. ChatGPT probably just needs a little bit of a moment to get itself back on track. Okay, so now let's try the last one I wanna do. So this is a, you can see this design down here, just get it up for you. I have a course that teaches business owners how to make their own branding and logos. And this little document is a full kind of overview of one of my modules. So this is a module that teaches uh, logo design. So I'm showing different examples. I'm giving content. Uh, and I've got a whole workbook here as well. And so I would like ChatGPT to look at this document and create some things for me to help me to promote my course, maybe to help me write a summary of the module. Because obviously when I put the module on my course, I'm going to need to have like a little summary of what they're going to learn. So maybe I can ask it to do those things for me. So again, I'm going to go into ChatGPT, create a new chat and give me my prompt. I always say, look at my Canva design just to make sure that it's really is looking at my Canva design, not saying just look at or look at, like I'm, I'm making sure that I don't just do look at module thing. Even though it might work it out, I always just find giving it the more context I can give it, the less likely it will be making mistakes. So look at my Canva design this. And before I press go, I need to make sure to press that plus button more and then connect Canva to that. So it knows to connect with Canva as I'm asking it to do that. So you can see it's picking up those designs. You can also see all my other different modules in there. And then if I scroll down, hopefully it is about to connect and write me something. Here's a polished summary, blah, 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 blah. It's giving a bit of a summary on the different lessons that are inside, which could be useful. Um, and if I wanna make it shorter or longer, I can then do that just right there. Now, some other ways to do this that I've used in the past with students in the my co-creation design club, I had a student who'd done some really great writing up of her brand inside a Canva document, but she didn't know a tagline for the business. I literally just connected her Canva document that had all this information about her business on it to ChatGPT and said, write a tagline for this business. Like there are so many ways that we can just, just speed up the workflow. Like this isn't saving you hours, but over time it will. And so just connecting it, connecting it, and remembering that if ChatGPT has access to something, it's only going to give it more context and make sure that it creates even more on brand and aligned answers for me. So I'd love to know in the comments, how are you going to use this? Are you going to connect it for social media captions? Are you going to connect it for reports? Are you going to connect it for um, summaries? How are you going to use this? Um, I would love to know. And just, this is just one that you may not use every day, but it's really great to have in the memory bank so that you can pull from it when you need it. Because ever since I've started using this one, it's been something that I've used multiple times every single week, knowing that it can just reference Stuff that I've already worked on inside Canva rather than having to download it as a PDF or copy all this text across you can just reference something and hit go. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Make sure that if you haven't already to check out my previous tutorial that went over how you can use ChatGPT to actually design graphics in Canva because there are some really fiddly things you do need to know to make sure that that works well and to actually make sure that it creates a good design or, or you at least create a good design at the end of that because there are some caveats to know. So thank you for watching me. If you are not yet already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are wanting to make sure that you as a business owner can use Canva really strategically for your business so that it grows rather than just waste your time. So thanks for joining me and I will see you next week for another tutorial. By the way, that's going to be all about Canva's updates because they are going to be big.